What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the Xbox and how well this console is selling. Now, at E3, when we heard about the Xbox One S being released in August, and when we heard about the Xbox One Scorpio to be released holiday 2017, I was one of the people, I was, who thought that the original Xbox One sales was going to drop. I thought that it would possibly drop because gamers would, would think, why buy the old Xbox when a new one's going to be out next year? Uh, I'll save my money and get the better version. So I was on that, that mind state. I was on that train of thought, and I thought that that was the way it was going to turn out. But I couldn't have been more wrong, and I couldn't be happier to report that the original Xbox sold like gangbusters in the month of July due to the revelations of the Xbox One S and Scorpio, and also part and parcel to the fact that the original Xbox One has received a really nice price drop, uh, one that in my mind would stay permanent until all the reserve units are sold. I'll drop a link in the description. Xbox One outsold PlayStation 4 in July in the United States. Microsoft has a new version of its Xbox One out this month, but the old model had a strong performance in July. Xbox One was a top selling console in the United States last month, according to data tracking firm the NPD Group. Microsoft launched the revamped Xbox One S on August 4th, which is a smaller, higher quality version of the same system, but while we won't see any sales for that system until NPD's next report, Microsoft clearly benefited from slashing prices on the 2013 version of the Xbox One. July is among the slowest months for hardware and software sales, so these results will likely not make a dent in the lead Sony's PlayStation 4 has built over Microsoft's system in the $99.6 billion gaming industry. Quote, We're honored that Xbox One was a best-selling console in the United States in July, and that total gaming hours on Xbox One consoles globally were up 18% over last year, reaching 1.55 billion hours, end quote. Quoted from Xbox marketing boss Mike Nichols, A new Xbox One sells for around $250 at some retailers right now, and certain deals push the price even lower. That compares to the Xbox One S, which starts out at $300. Microsoft credit the bump in sales to excitement over its showing at the Electronic Entertainment Expo trade show, in Los Angeles in June, but it also acknowledged that the Xbox One S also has many fans talking. Quote, Following its release last week, the 2TB limited edition of Xbox One S sold out in the UK and is nearly sold out in the US. Later this month on August 23rd, we will launch the 500GB and 1TB options for Xbox One at $299 and $349 respectively. We're excited about all the fun gamers are having on Xbox One and all the new releases we'll be bringing them this holiday. End quote. August, another slow month, will hold some intrigue for this ongoing battle, which Sony typically dominates. The Xbox One should juice Microsoft's sales even further, while Sony may benefit from the highly anticipated space exploration sim No Man's Sky. So, this is really exciting news. I really can't wait to see what happens in the coming months. I want to see how the Xbox One S is selling. I think that the original Xbox One is going to completely sell out, because it's basically so dirt cheap now that even people who thought they couldn't get onto the 8th generation can afford it. So I think if you're, you know, still an Xbox 360 gamer or PlayStation 3 gamer, you want an early or easy ticket to the uh, eighth generation. Right now, the Xbox One is probably the best place to go. The original Xbox One, you can get it dirt cheap and, and buy your way into this console generation and enjoy some of these great games. Uh, the future is bright. Sony's got an announcement coming out next month, uh, and more than likely, it's going to be the reveal of the PlayStation Neo and how it's going to compete with the Xbox One S and compete with the Xbox Scorpio. So I'm super excited to see what happens in the gaming landscape in the coming months and year. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Xbox One has beat PlayStation for the first time in a while. They won in the month of July in the U.S., and congratulations to Microsoft for that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey,